Hey guys, this is Sal J with Advanced Nutrients. I'm super excited. Today we are at LA Garden Supply in downtown Los Angeles. This is like a cornerstone store. It's been here for years. They are extremely knowledgeable and they have everything you're gonna need inside to grow excellent cannabis. But what I'm really excited about is Grower POV. Today is the kickoff of our Grower POV series, where we're gonna take you through everything in a commercial garden, upskirting your plants, lollipopping, big leafing, watering, how to measure dry bag, cracking seed. We're gonna show you it all. In this increasingly competitive environment, it's important that you not miss steps because that's the weed that ain't moving quick. So we wanna show you every step you're gonna to need to hit to be successful in your garden. Let's go inside and take a look at this stuff. All right, party people, let's get started. Let's talk about mediums first. There are lots of different options of mediums. There's potting soils, there's you know cocoa, there's all kinds of different options. But what I'm seeing predominantly inside of these commercial grows is small pots of cocoa, like your one to three gallon pots I'm seeing a lot of, stuff a little bit bigger than this. And then I'm seeing a lot of rock wool because it just allows you to so tightly chase your dry back. They dry back a little bit easier. It's just a very tight parameter crop steering protocol they're using and these small pots with not a ton of moisture in them seem to work better. If you're running rock wool, you're always going to need trays. And if you look, these guys have every size and shape of tray you could possibly think of. All the way from your homegrown two light tent up to mega warehouse, they can outfit you because there's lots of different sizes and shapes if you're looking at them. Here's Vita wool and some more of the just dirt based mediums, perlite in case you want to mix your own, make it high porosity so it dries back quicker. Pro Mix used to be one of my favorite products, a peat moss blend, but as I said before, I'm seeing more cocoa and rock wool in today's environment. The other thing you guys are going to need is lights. Go Bud Candy. There are two major lighting options these days that I'm seeing predominantly everywhere. Either there's the double ended HPS, which has been the golden standard for many years. That light works very cool because it's so hot around the bulb. There's just so much intensity, so much just lumen output. You can penetrate deep into a canopy with them and grow big trees if you want. Um, you can they do well on all grows, see a green. It's just, you can't double stack these because they need so much distance between the plant and the light. Whereas these LEDs, I'm starting to see a lot more of those. Guys are doing double and triple stacked LED runs where it's just so efficient on your rent dollar because you've got a four by four area, 16 square feet, stacked up three times. And these guys are getting two and a half, three pounds of light off of LEDs. So, I mean, you're catching seven to nine pounds off 16 square feet. That is radically efficient. It's the most efficient grow I've ever heard of. And I'm seeing more and more of that as you know, the months and years go on. California has a big push to get everybody off the HPS lights and on the LEDs. And I'm very proud and excited with the grow community because only in the last couple years have we cracked the code on using LEDs. Typically the only differences are is a lot higher nutrients. The plant metabolizes nutrients differently under that spectrum and the lack of intensity. And you know, a couple degrees in temperature and humidity. They'll raise their room slightly, but LED grows just became largely doable and I'm seeing a lot of guys winning on them. You're gonna obviously need dehumidifiers and air conditioners. That's very particular to whatever your grow is though. God, Quest and Andin both make beautiful, wonderful products. Um, that's largely contingent upon the size of what you're doing though, but the store staff is able to help you calculate all that here. Just know that you're going to need dehums and air conditioners. The other thing you guys are going to need is nutrients. I personally am a big fan of advanced nutrients, go figure. And what I'm seeing a lot of in the commercial space these days is the Scentsy Water Soluble Professional Grow Series Powder. The Professional Series is a landmark step forward for us. We've always made liquid nutrients, but this is the first time we put together a water soluble salt and it works so good. It dissolves in water instantly, it's like very stable, stays suspended, a very cool offering. 
And what's really remarkable about this is if you remember our old Sensi Bloom prior to pH Perfect technology, that's what we based this off of, a proven formula that has won hundreds of can cups back in the day. Now we're able to put it out in a more cost-effective means, so guys doing economy of scale, acres and acres and acres can pay a lower price per gallon and be able to throughput some excellent pot. The other big heavy lifter in our commercial line is the Voodoo Juice Plus tablet. The Voodoo Juice Plus tablet is incredible. It's an Alka-Seltzer tablet that you throw into 100 gallons or throw five of them into 500 gallons. They dissolve quickly and boom, you have a huge mix of root pushing microbes. Just to give you an idea, we've always had tarantula, piranha, and voodoo juice. The reason that we mix these products separately and kept them separate bottles is sometimes a fungus meets a bacteria, they become a hormone, and that's not always a good hormone. We saw this in the competitors' products. So what we ended up doing years ago was taking these three products and separating them so we could give the grower maximum control and none of the issues. What's remarkable about this Voodoo Juice Plus tab is this is the first time we can take all three of these products and put them into one place without any negative consequence. The dryness of the tablet allows them to stay dormant and in perfect harmony with one another. However, to give you an idea, the tarantula had 10 million colony forming units a gram, which is bigger than most any other competitor in the space had, as I recall. This Voodoo tablet gets up to a billion colony forming units per gram. It is outrageously strong. I've seen this stuff go after root rot, phytoplethoria. I mean, it like fights back because the, microbe, the microbial density that happens once you dissolve these tablets. It is just so thick with microbial action. It protects your plants from a great many things, but also allowing root explosion. And bigger roots equal bigger fruits most of the time. So we came at you with this product to help you guys get ahead. The other two staple products that I'm seeing in all the commercial spots is the Big Bud. The Big Bud, it's legendary. In 107 countries, we sell more of this than anything else. The world is spoken and they love this product. And why do they love it? Because it works. I think as growers, all we've ever wanted is products that just work and I don't mind paying for them. Big Bud is absolutely that and it's Sister product, the overdrive, handles the tail end of the run. I'm seeing everybody using this in the commercial environment. Of all the hardener, finisher, ripener products out there, most of them just get to that week seven part and start tightening your buds, you know? What the overdrive does, it's different, is it stops senescence. So the plant keeps pumping out white hairs, keep budding till the very end. And what does this mean for you, the grower? It means more weight. I think that's probably why overdrive is the best selling late phase ripener on the market but i'm seeing a lot of this being used in commercial facilities these days just so you know and you will too on this pov the last thing i wanted to show you guys is just a rock wool cube all lonely by itself but this is the other medium i am seeing used huge in commercial environment it works it dries back a little different it's just very um precision if you will on the way that you water so it allows you to crop steer more tightly just another way of doing the same thing. Well guys, I wanted to show you around the hydro store and demystify it a little bit for you. And everything that you need for growing pot is at a hydro store. Gloves, scalpels, rope ratchets, thermometers, atmosphere controllers, CO2, the list goes on infinitely. Stay tuned, because this is gonna keep going. Grower POV is gonna be hard, fast, and loud, and we're gonna teach you guys a lot. This is LJ from Advanced Nutrients, signing off. See you next time.